We are running around inside of a mountain. Yes, mountain running. Mountain running. We have a fork in the road. Don't know which way to go. I think this is the correct way. This feels like it. The one down there seems like it's... Whoops, nope, okay. Oh, is there an item there? I, I, clack, you I probably clicked already picked it up. I probably did, yeah. All right, we have made it to the first exit of Mount Coronet. <laughs> Great. What? Are you... Come on. Kay. What was that about, game? That was weird. Uh, ah, pushy rock puzzles. This might be the way back from the southern area here. Yes. Yep. Okay, so I can't do that, but I can do this. And I can also do this, I think. Yeah, that is also safe to do. Yeah. Oh, hello. I guess rock polish. Yeah. Now that, I think, A quick sharply increases your speed. Yes. A quick Polish rock. <laughs> cool. Useful. All right, so I know that there is a that there is another entrance to Mount Coronet, but I guess we are out of there. Actually, I probably don't. Uh, I mean, I might need to, but all right. So I guess we will start. I never fought this guy. Have I caught anything on two eleven? Yes, yeah, and this is where you got your chingling. Yes. How did you walk past him? I. Don't know. Did I ever Maybe he's go really this way? nearsighted? I th I thought that grass right there, the little tiny patch of grass, was where you'd caught him. Huh. But maybe across this bridge is where you caught him. Maybe. Weird. Uh, I'm Rick, by the way, and I'm Peter. This is Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and that are... is a hiker. Yeah, we're we're making our way. We're gonna embarrass a bunch of fucking trainers who've probably spent their whole lives training Pokemon. Yeah, but not very well. Not very well. I mean, by training, you mean mostly walking around and becoming friends with them, because the only way to get levels is by murdering. Well, this would be like being a member of a street gang, and at random intervals during the day, someone sees you and says, hey, we're going to knife fight. And the, and you're like, all right. You go up and you knife fight, and you knife them, and then they're like, what? You're really good at knife fighting. And you're like, yeah. You challenged me are to you, a knife fight. Are you did a you? knife fighter? And like, no, I'm a baker. I'm like, wh what? What? Why did you challenge me to a knife fight? I don't know. You were there. You were in front of me. And I had all these knives. Because I'm a baker. God. I know that my favorite thing to do with my kitchen knives, recreationally, is Is fight. knife fight. Yeah. yeah. You have to sharpen them on human bone. That's how that works. Yeah. That's definitely the best way to sharpen your knife. Yeah. Not holding it at a steady angle and meticulously slowly grinding it on a very fine... Uh, uh, smooth sandstone. Yeah, wet whetstones are actually just uh, created from flattening human bones. Yeah, a lot. Just very flat. That's how you get that fine of a grit. Yeah, my whetstone is six thousand grit, and that's because it's bone dust. How did I avoid both of them? Well, I mean, to to get down to that guy, you would have had to have fought the hiker, yeah. or I guess snuck behind. Yeah, that would have slipped behind. So I've managed to avoid both ways of getting up there. Yes. How? By getting your catch really early and going, okay, never mind. I guess so. I guess I just never engage with this chunk of the map. All right. And that's why you lost an earlier face-off. <laughs> yeah. These trainers were the XP you needed. These ones right here would have made all the difference in the world. Amazing. Back in the early teens. Yeah. Literally about two years ago at this point. <laughs> Not even a joke. I am reasonably sure that this series started in November 2021. Oh, God. Really? I, I am almost positive. Yeah. Time oh, just... Taunta! <laughs> uh, mm, no. No, yeah, we're not in caves. I think we can live. What's up? To the oh, I guess you can't go. No, up more. I can't. It That's, looks like you should be able to just like really walk does. north there. Yeah. Well, so first of all, we're we are about to enter Eterna City. Okay. I just want to like, keep track of where we're going and which routes we've actually done, so that we can minimize the amount of like retreading that we do. Sure. So Eterna City's coming up regardless. Is there a wall up there? That we didn't look at. No. Okay, good. I haven't surfed across this, though. Or at least I don't know what's on the other side of this. So let's do well, that. Well, you could probably knock another species off of your list by fishing here. Uh, true. 
Though the fishing, the fishing options are usually very much the same. Yes. In like almost all locations, depending on your rod. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, with Oops, the rod you have too. currently, you have access to Goldine and Magikarp. Yep. Got the statue. Uh. Okay. Can I? Oh, both of those do that. That's interesting. Both plus and minus bring up that menu. Cute. Uh, where's is my map not itself a key item? I would really like that to be a one button thing. Uh, I guess not. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I can just do this and then plus will check map automatically. That's good. Yeah. So double plus. Yeah. Let's let's go south. Okay. And then back into Mount Coronet because the sooner we can clear Mount Coronet off our list, I think the better. This will be, because then we have half over here, half over there, and never the twain shall meet. So south we go. Oh, the Eterna building, yeah, which we already did stuff there. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. Heal my dudes. Give my dudes a bubble bath. Boo, 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 boo. Don't do it, Golem. He'll be sad. Oh, yeah, what was that? That's the the mini games in Scarlet Violet where it's like you can wash your Pokemon if they're smelly, but yeah. some of them don't like water. Some of them don't like it, so and some don't of them wash prefer em. to be smelly. Yeah, it's like yeah, don't wash a muck. You're like, all right, I I guess. This city uh, isn't one of the ones that has rock climbs throughout it, is it? Oh God, that's a good question. No, probably I think that's not. Just Veilstone. There are several. Like, there's a, you know, in the middle of town, there's a rock yeah. climb spot with an item that you've just been able to see since you've walked oh, through yeah, there yeah, the yeah. first time. Uh the the little mini town that's got the uh, that's got the uh the resort I think has a rock climb wall. I don't remember the name of it cuz it's not like a real town. Uh Oh, the like beachfront yeah, stuff, the yeah, resort. Yeah. I mean, I think oh, it's just cycling the resort. Road. Well, this is not going to give me any uh Rock climb stuff up here, but also I can peek down there. Yeah, I don't see any. I forget if that cave was useful for any rock climb related stuff. The one that John can catch stuff in if he ever remembers that he can. Did you already get a catch in that cave? Uh, yes, that is Wayward Cave, I think. And I may not have access to anything there. Oh no, I got Bronze Ore there a long time ago. All right, 206. Heading back north, and this time I will throw repels on because there's a lot of grass here. All right. Super repel. Make myself too smelly for Pokemon to love. Back away, you Poke jerks. Is there anything over here? With your sensitive noses? I think you already... Wh uh, okay, okay, you missed one. All right, all right. that was... Is there, is there a person down here? Nothing? No? Okay. There's a spinner that yep. you fought. But I got him already, I guess, yeah. Hey, it looked like there was a... That legit looks like a cave opening right there, right? What? The uh, little corner of the ground? Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey. Oh, oh, that cave in. This, yeah, this was the thing that John needed to get to. Because the other one, I think, is the basement of Mount Coronet. The oh, thing okay. that's literally right next to it. Uh, now, the thing is, I forget how you're actually meant to make this a, like, comprehensible room. Uh, flash. I think you need flash, but flash is not an HM style technique. In the like, it's not an HM technique. It's like just a usable move. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Okay. A little biking mudslide. What the hell? Ramps okay, for jumping. Trick thing. Okay. What the fuck is this place? It's uh, a sweet uh, jump course. 
Yeah, I guess so. I gotta go down here. You gotta, like, make a hard right after one of the jumps. Yeah, what the hell? Like... Can you, can do, you can jump you that one just, like, a tiny bit? I mean, this one you can jump... Oh, do you mean to just go... Like, just one block? I mean, I can just do this, right? No. Oh, shit, you're right. Huh. Nope, those are biking ramps. Whoop. Okay, that's a no. Uh, okay, you can drop down there. Yeah, I'm going to try it again. Yeah, what the hell? Are you in high gear? Do you need to Maybe? be downshifted? I forget how to change it. That button. Yep. Oh, there we go. You've just been riding in high gear this whole time? I guess so, yeah. Nope. Oh, my God. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a time and place for everything. I uh, can't do that there. Uh, this is a bad time to ask, but yes, please. All right, so. Oop. So you can only move in increment in, in two-step increments when you're in high gear. That makes sense. Makes Grip kind claw. of sense. Ooh, isn't that a is evolution that a, item? Is it? I guess it would have been like a binding item, but uh, it extends the duration of multi-turn attacks, such as bind and wrap. All right, cool. It's neat. Uh, I don't really do those, so still neat though. Uh, is there anything going on down here? This is where we. Ah, oh, fuck. I was still in high gear. Whoops. I feel go. like there's some claw item that you need to evolve one of the ghosts, but that might not be the one. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oop. Yep. Right, because you need high gear to be able to go up the mudslide ramps. Yes. All right. Oh, okay, cool. I turned it to low gear right there, and I was like, all right. Oh, God damn it. Hey, that's like a thousand poke yen. It's true. Now we just go up and over. Yeah, that was fun. That was a neat little thing. Puzzle completed. Just gonna get off my bike now before I screw this up further. Am I going back to the dark? Yeah, I am. Alright, there's an item right here, though. Oh, baby. Sweet. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. That's a nice pickup. That's a nice pickup. Uh, yeah, goodbye, bulldoze. Oh, George, wait, no, George Dude has Earthquake. Yeah, Pippa can learn it, though. That's interesting. Do you have a ground move on Pippa right now? That I don't know. Stealth Rock, which... I mean, you don't need to be playing... Yeah, I don't need to go that hard on that stats. anymore, so... Let's do it. Earthquake will be nice to for Pippa to have. That'll be a fun, especially for like electric stuff. Like that's if if somehow Pippa needs to come out during the uh, the ground uh, the electric thing. Yep. Then we're in business. Okay. Oh, that's all that's in this room. As your prize, hilarious. We're doing the bike puzzle. All right. Well, that was cute. Uh, yeah, I'll do one more. We got some grass to get past on the way out of here. Yeah, it was fun. Got to pass grass. Grass it, then pass it. That's what I always say. But, okay. I wasn't Dude, even expecting to be supposed to leave there. that just lying around. Yeah, right? A kid's going to pick it up somewhere. Oh, you, did you check that step? This one right like, here? You know, right there. I guess there, that's true. And right there. Of course it's not got anything. <laughs> There's just if so you, many items on the ground it, in this puzzle. If you say it, then that means that it can't happen. That's the rule. It's micro-jeffing. <sighs> micro-jeff questions. Yeah, to stick to stick with the illicit uh, materials theme, we're micro-jeffing. There we go. Okay. Now, I may as well also come and do this. 
the Wayward Cave thing is like, that's such a cruel fucking place to put that. This one is also hey, labeled yeah. Wayward Cave. Huh. Is this... Why oh, I got this all mixed up? Because John, I think, did find the other one before. And I think that's the one you're supposed to get... Um, Gabite or whatever. Whatever the fuck is in there. I, I don't care. Uh, breakable. You know, I bet you get Flash after the... Uh, Eighth gym. Oh no! Wait, you get waterfall. Yeah. No, I think uh, I think flash is something that I could have picked up already. It's just none of my Pokemon have it. Oh, and as soon as you had it, it probably would show up in your Pokecatch. I feel like that. I'm not sure. I thought I thought somebody had mentioned that you still have to select it anyway. That would be weird. I know for them to like get rid of all of the HM slave requirements except for flash. I just don't want there to be cliffs in here. I can deal with wandering around for a while. The music is very much like Dragon Warrior on the NES, which also had, if you didn't have the Radiant spell or a torch, you had about this much visibility in the uh, the underground dungeons. Yeah. This place is big. Come on. get There we go. Trying to do the uh, maze solving technique of hugging, of hugging one specific wall. Yep. Uh, whoop, nope. Oh. Whoa. Hi. <laughs> Are you okay? It's pitch black in here. He ate some mushrooms and now he's uh, burping a lot. Uh oh. Poor hiker Lorenzo. And he's hidden in the dark of the cave because the light was just too much for him. Yeah, he was tripping some fucking balls. Tripping some poke balls. Sometimes you just need to, like, have some sensory deprivation to help you handle your trip. And sometimes that just lets the fractals spin off into infinity. Oh, God. Ah, uh, Sturdy snake. God damn it. I was hoping it wouldn't be. Why are you like this? Not bind, I just learned how bind is longer. <laughs> so this dude's tripping in a cave by himself and he just bound up my Pokemon. Yeah. That's not okay. I'm not okay with this. Wow. So just sparkle Bang. at him. Yeah. He's just, oh, it's too much. <laughs> <laughs> he's just in the corner. Right. He's having an epileptic seizure, and you are looting his pocket. Oh, he just pukes. He just absolutely just... Blah, blah, blah. The lights. The lights. Too many shrooms. What? Oh, that was a double battle they were trying. Okay. Well, when you follow the wall like that... Well, uh. you're not doing a very good job of trip-sitting, Reginald. Yeah, right? There should be a light on in here. Or maybe he's like, I knew he was here. I could hear if he moved. Yeah, I got the flashlight. He just wanted a second in the dark. Alrighty. Let's do it. Giga Drain, I guess. We'll try to heal up some of our, our missing hips. Fight! Yay! He's no not sturdy. sturdy. He's a levitating Geodude. Uh, black and white and X and Y are rough because they prefer... Uh, black and white only has Rog and Rolla. X and Y prefers Rog and Rolla as the, like, cave Pokemon. Yeah. And they only have sturdy. Oh, rude. Yep. Just always takes twice as long. Yep. God help you if you run into a horde battle of Rog and Rolla and you don't have Surf. Surf means you get out of the battle in two turns. Right. Basically anything else. I guess Earthquake does too. Basically anything else means ten turns minimum. Uh, it's gross. It's bad. And I am someone who loves Rog and Rolla. I think Rog and Rolla is a great Pokemon. Maybe my favorite of that style of... You got Geodude, you got Rock and Roll, you got Roly Coley. I think Rock and Roll is my favorite of those. Okay. I think Roly Coley is kind of fun. Roly Coley is also very fun. It's a close second for sure. Uh, but I do like the uh, Rock and Roll to Boldor pipeline the best. I want to come back next time. We're going to keep finding the illicit drugs underground and bring them to our fifth grade teacher next time. All right.